Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be the finale for the 2020 Advent Calendar Project Pan and the intro for the 2021 Advent Calendar Project Pan. This project is rolling over into a new year starting right now, December 27th until December 27th of 2021. And this project was created by Elaine. I will leave her channel linked down below along with a list of everybody else that is participating in this project. I love the concept of this project so much. If you've been following along, you know that. The idea was based off of an advent calendar, but spread out throughout a year. And of course, instead of something new coming in, we are shopping our stash to use up some of the things we already have, particularly things that are on their last legs, sample sizes and deluxe samples things that we can actually move out in a relatively short amount of time. Like a lot of you, I have a ton of those things. My numbers in those categories have shrunk because of projects like this. I have been getting them down, plus I'm not shopping like I used to. So I don't have nearly as many samples coming in like I used to, and that's helped a lot, but I'm trying to stay on top of them so that I don't have this huge pile of samples. So let's start off with where we left off last month. I had three samples left out of the original 24 items. I did not finish any of them. So they are rolling over into the new project. To be honest, I didn't think I could really finish all 24 of the items. There was a couple of tricky products. There was one that I was hoping I might finish, but it just didn't happen. I had said last month that maybe I would roll them over into the new project and only pick up to 24 products for next year, but I haven't done that. I've picked 24 new products in addition to these three products that are rolling over. Hopefully I can get to all of them in the coming year. We'll see. But let me show you where I left off with um, the last three products in the 2020 project. The first one is this Mary Kay lip gloss in the shade Brownie. It's still going. It's what I have on right now. For today, I paired it with a very neutral eye look and I quite like it. When I wear it with other looks, I do not like it. I only like this kind of brown colored lip gloss with a very neutral eye. So actually, how many days are left in this year? <laughs> Gosh, today is December 26th. It's four o'clock, I'm finally showered, so the hair's not done, but it's as good as it's gonna get. So we have 27, 28, 29, 30. 31. There's five days left in this year. And what I have on my eyes is my Pan That palette for 2020. I'm probably going to do this look at least four out of the next five days to get, it's like my last hurrah with my Pan That palette. I'm not planning on making any big progress with that project, but I just wanna get some more use out of these eyeshadows before they get put away. And so I think I'm going to be doing this eye look for the next four days or so, and I'm going to be pairing this lip gloss with this eye look every day. Maybe that would be enough to finish off this lip gloss. I don't know. But I'm gonna try really hard to finish this lip gloss off ASAP. The other lip product is the sample from Urban Decay in the shade Firebird. I don't think I've used this at all in the last month. And the last product is my nail polish sample from Julep. This is in the shade Kiana, Kiara, Kiana. And I'm right here. I did do another pedicure a couple days ago. I don't know if I've done a manicure. I've been busy, y'all. I've been busy. Um, hopefully I will get back to painting my nails, but this is where we're at. I have to keep pushing on. So those three products are still gonna get worked on. I really, really hope this is gone by the next update. I need to finish this by the next update. That's the plan. And then I'll be able to roll something new in from the new group of products. I have them all in this box right here. I'm so excited. This is where they're staying for now. And I'm gonna show you a little clip of an overview of all the products I chose for this coming year. I think you'll be able to see that a lot of the products I should be able to get through really quickly. And that's what I'm hoping for. Some things I learned along the way from doing this project was working on three products at a time really seemed to do the trick for me. 
That way, if I had a difficult product, I could still keep moving through other products while working on a more difficult product. And it took me a few months to figure that out. I think when I started this project last year, I was working on one product at a time, and then after a couple months, I bumped it up to two, and then after a couple more months, I bumped it up to three. And then I started making a lot of progress on this project. So I'm gonna start this project working on three products at a time, so hopefully, it won't be too hard for me to hit the ground running on this project and get some empties really quickly. We'll see what happens though. Regardless, I'm very excited to be doing this project for another year. I think it's a great one. If you're doing it and your name is not on the list down below, let me know so I could add you in so people can check you out either on Instagram or here on YouTube. And if you'd like to join this project, please feel free. Elaine has opened this project up to anybody that would like to join. So if this project sounds appealing to you, please join us. All you have to do is pick 24 items. If you have an advent calendar, you could write them out on little pieces of paper and put them in the advent calendar. Or if you're like me and you don't have an advent calendar, you could just make a list of all the products and use like, Hi. You can use a random number generator to decide which products you're gonna work on next. So that's where we're at with that, you guys. Sorry, I don't have any new empties for this update finale intro. I've been seriously distracted these last couple months with some very specific products, but the new year is coming and I am so excited. This is like my first intro out of all of the new projects that are starting. So this is getting really exciting. It's starting to be real and I'm really excited for it. I need to start working on my inventory tomorrow. And so I'm gonna be busy. Today was like the calm before the storm. But yeah, filming this video right now is making me realize that the new year is coming really soon. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of shifting going on in what I'm working on and I'm really excited for it. All right guys, that is it for this finale update intro. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.